Hello everybody, this is Gamergar and welcome back to another video of Stardew Valley. For the purposes of today's video, we are going to talk about friendship in Stardew Valley and what you can do to quickly accumulate the hearts with all the NPCs around the village. The reason why you want to accumulate hearts with the NPCs is because not only do they send you very nice items in the mail every couple of days, but they also give you very potent recipes that you can use to increase your stats. So let's talk about some of the facts here of friendship. Did you know that when you just talk to someone on a daily basis, you get 20 friendship points? It's also worth knowing that once you attain 250 friendship points with someone, that will give you a heart. And that doesn't increase, you know, as it goes on. It's 250 friendship points for each heart. The help wanted quests here. So Abigail is bored. She wants a purple mushroom. <laughs> so we're going to do that for her. And what we're going to get for this now is 150 friendship points for completing this quest. So the delivery quests are actually a great way to get the friendship points up very quickly with people. You know, you could combine the delivery quest with just talking to them. That would give 170. And you could even give them a gift on top of that. Meaning you could accumulate hearts very quickly. The movies unlocks once you've completed the community center. And the great thing about the movies is you can purchase a ticket here. Like you can only do this once per week, but it's a magnificent way to increase the friendship points with somebody. Give the ticket to the NPC you want to go to the cinema with. Now, each NPC has a like and a loved movie. They also have a like and a loved snack that you can gift them when you bring them to the cinema. So we'll just break it down here now. So if you bring them to the movies and it's a movie that they love, they would get plus 200 friendship points with you. If you give them a snack that they love, it's 50 friendship points. That's exactly 250. So if you bring the right NPC to the right movie and give them the right snack, you're guaranteed to get a heart with them. No problem at all. If you bring them to just a liked movie and give them a liked gift, then that's 100 plus 25. So it's, you know, it's 125 friendship points instead of 250. But even if, it's even if it's just a liked movie, it's still a lot of friendship points. So it's, you should still bring them, even if there isn't a movie on that they're overly fond of. And the ticket only costs a thousand gold. So, you know, it's a very small price to pay for what you're actually going to get out of the cinema. And it also mixes up the game a bit as well, because some of the movies are actually quite fun to watch. You can also play the crane game, and it does give you unique items. But you know you can actually get a dinosaur egg from playing the crane game. Uh, as well as cool posters and other decorative items you can put around your farm. So the cinema is, is something that you should always use once you unlock it, because in all fairness, it does take quite the effort to unlock. Even if you decide to go to Georgia route, you have to complete all those bundles to actually unlock this content. As we can see here now, Abigail's having a great time <laughs> with this movie. Not only did she get a purple mushroom off us, but we're also treating her to the cinema. So as we can see there, we just got a message saying she's enjoying her rock candy, which is really good. So that's another great way to get friendship points up. It's also worth noting too that uh, friendship points can decay if you don't keep on top of things. Uh, especially here if you get married, um, you know, you lose 20 friendship points a day if you, you know, if you don't talk to your partner. So just talking to your partner every day is enough to keep the hearts at the same level that they're on. So uh, friendship decay is something that you don't have to worry about too much. You know, even with the regular NPCs in Stardew Valley, it, it goes down very slowly. But if you want it to go down drastically for some reason, you can hit people with uh, with slingshot ammo here. <laughs> and they'll lose 30 friendship points every time you hit them with it. So if you don't like someone and you want to reduce hearts, then going around Stardew Valley with a slingshot is definitely one of the ways to go about it. So... As we can see, as we can see there, you know, people aren't happy about that. I suppose you wouldn't be either if someone hit you with a slingshot. Going through the trash, if someone catches you, will lose you 25 friendship points. But funnily enough, it'll actually gain you 5 friendship points with Linus every time you open up a trash can. And trash cans can actually have some amazing items in them, especially from the saloon. Gift quality does matter. So a neutral gift to someone gives you 20 friendship points, a like gives you 45, and a love gives you 80. But did you know that if it's a silver quality item, you get 10% more? If it's gold, 25% more, and if it's iridium, 50% more. Also worth noting too, that if it's their birthday, and you give them a, a gift, you get eight times uh, the friendship worth for that gift. So if you give them a gift, and it's a loved gift, you're gonna, you're gonna net yourself 640 friendship points right there. 
Also worth noting too that in the winter you have the winter star event and you have to give someone a, a gift. You, you know, you get to play Secret Santa. You get five times the friendship points for giving them a, a gift on the winter star so if it's a loved gift you're going to get 400 friendship points so events like this are great ways to increase the friendship points with everyone so we got emily this year and we're going to give her a piece of wool here now and it's an iridium piece of wool so we are going to get we're going to get a good few hearts from that so let's talk about some of the tips some of the items that can, that can really help you in this game to keep on top of everything if you go to Robin here, you can purchase a calendar off Robin for 2,000 gold. This is one of the best 2,000 gold you'll ever spend in the game because you can hang this up anywhere. You can hang it up in your house. Uh, it will basically tell you the birthdays of all of the NPCs in Stardew Valley. It will even tell you when the special events are going to take place as well, which is great. As we can see here now, today is Clint's birthday. So let's go and find Clint and give him a lovely gift. Uh, some NPCs are very easy to give gifts to, others are very difficult, you know, they're, they require kind of specific items. Another great tip is to use chests. So what I do is I put chests in the houses of the NPCs. Obviously along paths that are not going to walk because, it, you know, if it's in their way they will destroy it with the contents inside, so watch out for that. But for Clint here now, I'll just put a chest just inside here, I'll fill it up with minerals that he loves. So every time I go there, you know, if I need to get a tool upgrade or if I need Clint to break up some geos, for example, if I haven't completed his weekly friendship quota, because you only give two gifts per week, the chest is a great reminder. And it's also a great time saver. It's also a great <laughs> tongue tied there. It's a great time saver to have the item that he likes or he loves in the chest so I don't have to go back to the farm and get it and go all the way back then to his shop. So as we can see here now, I'm just going to run around to all the houses. Uh, I'm going to put chests into all of the houses here and put liked and loved gifts into all these chests. So in this house we have uh, Emily and we have Haley. So as you can see there, I'm just putting some sunflowers. So let's go give a sunflower to Haley here. Oh my god, this is my favourite thing. So we just got a smile there off Haley, so which is a bit of a miracle. Universal gifts. So, there's loads of universal gifts in the game. Um, universal likes are diamonds, of course. Now, some people love diamonds, but most of the people just like diamonds. So, having a shed filled up to the top of crystallariums that generate diamonds, it's a, it's a nice handy way to steadily get the hearts up with all of the NPCs around the village. If you don't have a shed filled up with crystallariums, then flowers are the way to go. As you can see, we've got loads of poppies here growing in our patches. You can, get, you can gift these to most people, and they will like these, bar a few NPCs. Just check out the wiki to see, you know, who likes these who loves these and who, you know, who hates these. Uh, I believe Haley doesn't like these at all because she's Haley. She doesn't like much. And poppies are cheap as well. So if you're just going for friendship points, if, if you're not really doing anything else, just purchase a load of poppies, poppy seeds off Pierre and you can grow loads of these. Also worth noting too that you can combine, you can combine the poppies with the diamonds. And you can just put those in chests all over the map. So you'll never run out of universe, universal likes. So as you can see here, I went into the saloon. It's a Friday. Friday afternoons, loads of people go to the saloon. So if you're not too sure on where someone is, or if you can't get into their house, etc. And you want to finish off your weekly quotas, coming in here on a Friday afternoon is a great way to catch up on everything. Not only can you gift people gifts in the saloon, but you can also talk to them as well to get those extra friendship points. So as you can see, there's loads of people here where we've got we've got diamonds that were just given to everyone so they can all buy more drinks. <laughs> it's also worth too that you can buy uh, bear off, off Gus and a lot of people like bear as well. So not everyone is here as you can see, but a good majority of the NPCs are in here. So it's one, of the, it's one place where I go all the time on a Friday afternoon if I'm missing people. So then we hit, now we have the Statue of Endless Fortune. This is an end game item. You're not going to get your hands on this for a while because it costs a million gold you have to buy it in the casino. But the reason why the statue is so overpowered is because it will generate an NPC's loved gift on their birthday. So we got a pink cake today because it's Vincent's birthday. So let's go visit Vincent, give him the pink cake, and it's going to make his day. And here's a, here's a fun tip for you as well, actually. Uh, when you make good enough friends with someone, you can enter into their room. 
And for a lot of NPCs, you know, getting access to the room is no big deal. But sometimes you can find secrets in some of the rooms. So let's take a look at Vincent here. We're going to give him this big cake and we can enter his room, right? But did you know that you can also get a statue from this room if you have a strange bun? It's called a Furuguman statue. It's a really cool statue you can put in your farm. So I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. That is basically a guide on friendship and how you can accumulate friendship with the NPCs around Stardew Valley. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then please do so. It'll help me out a ton. And I do really appreciate it. So I'll upload the next Stardew Valley video in the next day or two. So today is Monday, so the next one's going to be Wednesday. I hope you have a great day. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified for my future videos. And as always, have a great day.